How's it going guys? Mark Sagum here and welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago, habang nagbabasa ako ng mga comments ninyo, may mga nagtanong sa inyo kung paano ko nililinis or minimaintain yung mga strings na gamit ko. As a basic maintenance, ang ginagawa ko lang, after each playing session, uh, pinupunasan ko lang yung uh, fretboard at yung strings using a dry cloth para hindi mamuo yung oil at yung dumi dun sa strings. And that's it. I'm not sure kung enough na ba yun para ma-maintain yung quality ng strings para mas mahaba yung buhay ng strings na gamit mo. So para mas makasigurado, nag-search ako through internet kung paano yung proper way na paglilinis ng strings. And I found this theory na kapag ka pinakaluan mo daw yung strings gamit yung tubig, uh, babalik daw yung uh, quality or magmumukhang bago ulit yung tunog niya. I don't know, I'm not sure kung totoo to. But I guess... There's only one way to find out. So for today's video, uh, susubukan natin pakuluan yung mga lumakong strings and let's see what happens. First thing we need to do is try to find an old set of strings. So let's try to look at the first drawer. Okay, so dito ko nilalagay yung mga bagay na madalas kong gamitin. Like this 3-in-1 toolkit, some gauge fillers, grinding bits, allen wrench, and some other guitar tools. Here are some of my guitar picks and some DIY bone nut and saddle. So way back, I'm having trouble finding a replacement saddle for my first guitar. Nagtry akong humanap sa mga music store dito, kaso laging walang stock. Tapos, ayun. Sobrang tagal kong hindi nagamit yung guitar. And then one day, I came up with this idea of making my own saddle. And guess what? It works. Tapos mula noon, nahiligan ko ng mga olekta ng mga buto na dinikot ko sa bulalo. <laughs> Oo, yung sinasutsot. Comment kayo guys if you want me to make a video on how to make a nut and saddle out of a piece of cow bone. Anyway, here are some of my cleaning tools I use for my camera. A retractable brush to remove some dust. And oh, there's my ID from YouTube Creator Cam last year. There goes my camera charger, measuring tape, and some of my capos here. Okay, so wala tayong nakitang string, so let's proceed to the next drawer. So here is where I put some of my pop filters, some guitar cables, straps, mounts for the mic, some YouTube stickers, another guitar cable, um, ano pa ba meron dito? Power bank, hard drive, strings, na makawala ata rito. So let's proceed to the last drawer. Dito ko nilalagay yung mga bagay na bihira ko lang gamitin. Like a spare hard drive, a hand drill, and meron tayo dito dalawang box ng kalimba. Pero hindi kalimba yung laman yan. <laughs> Gusto ko lang gamitin yung box kasi it fits perfectly dito sa drawer. So here is where I keep my BM800 microphone and some other mounts which I seldom use. At wala pa rin akong nakikitang strings. So, check natin yung kabila. Baka nandun na. I think ito na yun. So, let's try to open it and let's see what's inside. And bingo! There goes a bunch of my old strings. As you can see guys, hindi ko tinatapon yung mga pinaglumaan ko na strings. Nilalagay ko lang sa isang dalagyan cause for me may mga sentimental value yung mga yan. Plus, you may never know baka magamit mo pa sila in the future. From there, pipili lang tayo ng pinakamaayos na set. Kung mapapansin ninyo, sobrang nagkabuhol-buhol na. And to be completely honest, wala din akong idea kung paano sila nagkaganyan. Anyway, one way para ma-distinguish natin yung pinaka-latest is by looking at their color. Mas dark, mas luma, mas bright, luma pa din pero mas latest. Hehe. <laughs> so ito, mukhang maayos pa. So judging by the color of the heads, I can say it's the Adario. Paghihiwa-hiwalayin lang natin sila and prepare them for stringing. Once na pagiwahiwalay na, it's time to get the guitar and prepare for some action. 
I use my handy dandy guitar toolkit to remove these bridge pins. And by using some forbidden technique, I put on the strings and let the bridge pins do their work. Now, it's time para tawagin na si Sarji to give us some background music. Oops, copyright. So after ko na-install sa gitara yung strings, nag-record ako ng kaunti para makita natin mamaya yung difference sa tunog after natin pakuluan. Next step is to remove the strings and prepare them for boiling. So ikukoy lang natin ulit yung mga strings para magkasya sa boiling pan. Ilagay sa plato to add a little bit of presentation. Now let's proceed to the kitchen and unleash the inner chef in you. Pan on. Get it really nice and hot. Ibuhos ang tubig. Oops, wrong channel. Oops, onti pa. Op, onti pa. Op, lovely. So guys, I recommend using distilled water instead of tap water para maiwasan yung mga chemicals and other contaminants that may damage your strings. So turn up the heat at hintayin lang natin kumulo bago natin ilagay yung mga strings. Takpan. Pakuluan lang natin for 5 minutes. Okay, after 5 minutes, check natin ulit kung may pagbabago. Kailangan dahan-dahanan sa pag-alis ng takip kasi baka... Never mind. So after 5 minutes, makikita na natin yung difference base sa kulay ng tubig. Halu-haluin lang natin for no reason. Then, tatlong pokpok para kunwari chef tayo. Takpan. Then, boil it again for another 5 minutes. So, you will be having extra time to, like, you know, watch some of my YouTube videos. <laughs> anyway, enough with the self-promotion. Once it's done, simmer it for a while. Mmm, yuck. Magugulat ka na lang sa dami ng dumi at kalawang na nanonood sa strings. And now, it's time to do some water bending. Aray, aray, aray. Or, pwede namang gumamit ng tongs to remove the strings from the water. And, with some culinary transition, whoop! O, oh, diba? Wala lang. Patuyuin using a dry cloth. Huwag gumamit ng tissue. And, be sure na huwag magbabasag. So, once again, i-uncoil lang natin and we're gonna put them on the guitar. By the way, this guitar was sponsored by Guitar Pusher. Visit their website and Facebook page for more information. I will put the link in the description down below. Okay, going back. Once it's done, I record it and compare the sound with the old strings. So here's how it goes. Ano sa tingin nyo guys? Effective ba? Does boiling your strings really work? Well, for me, the answer is yes. Boiling your old strings can actually cause them to produce a much sharper and crispier tone. You can see the result from the amount of oil and dirt that is extracted from your strings. So, parang naging bago ba ulit? Hmm, no. It will not make them sound as new but Boiling them will make your old, flat-sounding strings much better. And, yeah. And that's it for this video, guys. 
Sana nakatulong sa inyo, especially for those of you na hindi makalabas para bumili ng bagong swings dahil sa lockdown. Uh, you might as well stay at home na lang and maybe give another chance your old strings by calling them. And yeah! Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more future updates. Keep safe guys and I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Peace!